based on a doctor stoppage. Declaring the winner by GKO, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Charles, what is your reaction to everything you just saw? It is Dustin Poirier. He has that number one ranking. Do you think that this performance now makes him next in line for this thing right here, that UFC lightweight world title? It's going to be a war. I'm the champion, and it's a huge history. Uh, I'm ready for this. That Dustin Poirier is going to fight Charles Oliveira. That's the only fight to make next. It has to be Dustin versus Charles Oliveira for the lightweight title. Dustin's going to go and fight for the title now. Both Connor and Dustin this week, they mentioned that they want to challenge Charles Oliveira for the lightweight title at the end of the year. I would have to say Oliveira is the more dangerous fighter there in terms of like the lethality of his techniques. But Dustin Poirier figures things out, man. He's more of a veteran. He's very well rounded with his offense and defense. And See, with Oliveira, like, there's moments when you go back in his career and you go, oh, well, this guy's not the greatest. And then you see him in some fights, like the Kevin Lee fight, you submitted Kevin Lee, right. put him out, um, submits Tony in a spectacular way. He just, he's so technical. I want to see him fight Dustin. 2021, I'm coming. I came in here to make history. Come prepared because I'm coming. Every day, all day. I'm a young veteran and I just feel at home in here, man. I think most would argue you deserve an opportunity to fight for this championship. Certainly they are some muddied waters at 155 pounds. That's a born fighter, ladies and gentlemen. Dustin the Dustin. And he is now the champion. Charles Oliveira, ladies and gentlemen. There he is, the king of Lafayette, Louisiana, Dustin Poirier. Let's go!